Hello, Linda here from Baladi's Body Blitz. Come and march with me. We are doing a seated cardio workout using light dumbbells, all seated, and a lot of high intensity, low impact moves to really get the heart rate up. If you do not want to use your dumbbells, you do not have to. You can definitely do it without and still get a great workout there just to increase a little bit of the burn on those arms. Here's little Minnie eating some snackies. Today we're doing 40 second intervals, 10 second rest for about 25 minutes. So it's up to you how fast you wanna go. I'm gonna try and keep with the beat. The very first exercise I'll always show you during the 10 seconds is going to be a punch across with a little tap out. Now I'm sitting on the very edge of my chair, tummies in, shoulders are down and back. Come with me now, punching opposites. Big, long arms, nice, tall spine. Simple moves today. So really give me great range of motion. And of course, if you cannot sit on the edge of your chair and you need some extra support, scoot right back and just do the portions that you can do. You may only be able to do upper body today and that's perfectly fine. Your range of motion may be a bit smaller than mine and that's fine too. You just follow along at your pace, take breaks if you need to. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna do like a bicep curl with a heel out to the diagonal. Shoulders down and back. Nice fast pace because these are light weights. But make sure you still control it up and control it down. I like to stay up on my tippy toes because that provides even more instability, which means I'm firing my core to stay nice and stable and upright. But you can put your foot flat if you prefer. Nice job. Now if you want to, you can put both weights in one hand. We're going to go down and up, front and tap back. So I'm tapping my heel front and then my toe just behind the other leg. Now you do not have to twist your entire upper body. You can stay more centered, especially if it starts making you a bit dizzy. You don't have to kind of look up at your hand. And you can definitely just use one weight this is going to get right into the hip flexor, the quad, as well as a bit of your obliques as you're twisting and definitely that shoulder. Nice job, we're doing that exact same thing to the other side. So we're going to be twisting and then coming down. So start here, twist up and down, up and down. You can twist however you, how far you can go. If you can only maybe stay here, that's fine too. Try to keep a really nice tall upright spine and pull your belly button in tight. Nice job. Okay, we're just going to go out, out, in, in, marching again, pumping those arms. Come with me. Minnie's going to get a drink over there. Hopefully she'll be back soon. Nice job. We're gonna stay on one side and do faster side lateral raise 
with a tap out. So a really nice tall spine and stay on one side. If it's too fast, slow it down. We're doing half on this side and then switching because I know it's starting to burn already. That leg especially is really burning. Hip flexor and quad, other side. Nice job. We're going to do an up and down shoulder press biceps curl, but let's change the legs to raises, raises. So knee raise as the arms come up. You can stay with the marches if you prefer. Having more snackies. You know that I'm a keep the cool. With you, I feel a breaking rules on the edge. Looking now with no. We're gonna go back into a march and pulse your elbows behind your back. So this is for your side obliques and your back. So I want really nice pulls. Imagine you've got two bands and you're pulling them from the wall. So you're really trying to engage all through your upper back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Double time arms with single time legs. We're going to do punches, but instead of doing just cross punches, we're going to go up for two, middle for two, down for two. Now you can go faster and shift your legs like I'm doing, or keep it half time. This is pretty tough doing it this fast. So just slow it down whenever you need to. Okay, now we're going to come slightly to the side and we're going to do a knee with a tap behind. So tap behind with that toe and then bring it in line and you're pulling down. If this is too much, just sit on an angle and pull your knee up or even pull your knee up to the center, okay? So I'm giving you options depending on what your capability is here. You really need to use your core here to hold everything in. Minnie wants to go on her scratch tower. We're doing that to the other side. I'm just putting Minnie up on the scratch pose. There you go, Minnie. That was not part of the workout. <laughs> if you have a cat, same thing, other side. So you're just gonna have to set yourself up so that you can balance there. If this is too much with two hands, hold on with one hand. And remember your options. You can sit and just do this, or even sit front on and do this, or even just bend forward. So I'm giving you lots of options. You do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. Just keep moving and do something that works for you. Nice job. Okay, back into the center position. 
We're going to go from here, around and chop, around and chop. So, around behind the head and then towards your side of the calf, around and chop. If you want to, you can start to pick up the opposite leg and just straighten it. Around and chop. Lots of rotational exercises today so that we're using your core while using those arms and legs. Nice job. Okay, seeing that we started doing some nice leg work, one knee, one straight leg. Stay on one side. Knee, straight leg. Knee, straight leg. Bend your arms, straighten your arms. Half on this side, half on the other side. Minnie's on the move again. Breathe. Feeling that in the quads. Ready, we're gonna change sides. Knee and straight leg. Knee and straight leg. You slow it down if you need to. Nice job. We're going to go two knees, two taps. So two knees, pull down, then two taps, out and in. Nice tall spine, knee and knee, tap and tap. Knee and knee, tap and tap. If you don't like it, stick with just the taps or stick with just the knees. Burning, burning. Nice job. Okay, we're doing that to the other side. Sit up tall. Start wide with the knees. And it's knee and knee. Tap and tap. Okay, that really burned out those hip flexors. Let's march in place. We're gonna do one side arm straight and the other one punching up. Hold your belly button in. Really nice straight spine, long neck, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna change it. Three, two, one, same thing, other side. Nice straight arm. Nice job. This time we're going to come in front and we're going to go L shape arms. So heels in front again. If you want to make it harder, instead of a heel, kick with a flexed foot. If your arms are getting too sore, maybe bend your arms. The shoulders are getting a lot of work today, even though it's light weight. High reps, fast pace, burns those shoulders. Did you know that by having your arms fully extended, you're times tenning the pressure on the joint. So one kilo ends up being like almost 10 kilos on your shoulders. Oh, okay, we're gonna go 
forward, forward, back, back, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe. Come with me. Arms just push and pull. Nice job. Now, if you want both of the weights in one hand, scoot over, hold on with one hand, and we're just gonna bring our knee up to the side and pull down with that elbow. If you cannot do this and you have to really have that support, lean forward and bring that knee up directly in front, okay? Otherwise, maybe you're not doing the leg at all and you're just coming down with your elbow. You find the perfect positioning that allows you to do this with the maximum range of motion. Knee to the ceiling. We're gonna give the arms a break. Just put that weight against the hip and we're gonna come out like a hydrant. So come up directly to the side. Up and out, up and out. If you can't do this, put your weights above your knee and just do this instead. Okay, but if you can, put them on the side of your hip. You can lean over, really grab onto that chair, tummies are in. If this is too much with the weights, use no weight and maybe hold on with both hands. Don't fall off the chair. I just felt my chair tipping a little bit. We're on the other side after this. Hello, Minnie Mouse. Yes, darling. What do you want? What do you want? Other side. On the side here, and then knee up to the ceiling. So. Twisting and squeezing the hips to ribs. Okay, so either hydrant directly out to the side with the weight on the hip or do one of those knee raises with the weight above the knee. Come Minnie, come on. Can I sit with mommy? I think she wants to go up on her scratch post. Minnie, we're busy. We can't be catering to you. She thinks I'm her full-time slave. But when I'm filming is like the only time that I don't do exactly what she wants when she wants. Isn't that mini? You get a bit annoyed at mummy. Yeah, you get annoyed, don't you? You want your full-time slave back. Hmm? Okay, come back into your original position. We're gonna do triceps and just march in place. Or if you prefer, actually heels in front feels really good for this. So you're slightly hinging forward from the hips with a flat back. Tricep kickbacks means you've got your arms close by your rib cage and only the bottom portion from the elbow down is moving. Really squeeze the top of your arms. The further back your arms are, the more you're gonna feel this. Fast pace, but you can slow it down if you need to. Nice job. 
Okay, we're going to put weights both in one hand, side and front, side and front, toe taps, not heels. Now, side, front with that arm. Breathe through it. Nice job. Okay. Well, Minnie licks her bottom. We're going to put the weights into the other hand and we're doing the same thing. So side and front, side and front. Tall spine, tapping the toe, not the heel. And I'm really not resting my leg at all. Side and front with the hand weights too. Unless the whole thing is just too much for your coordination, in which case just stick with one. Maybe just front taps, just side taps. Trying to give your brain a bit of a workout today as well. Okay, so now we're going to do a floating leg. I want you to float your leg, tummies in, shoulders down and back. Arms are down and we're just gonna kick front and then kick diagonal. Front and diagonal. Arms are kind of just slightly following that diagonal. This burns, right? Should we do the whole 25, sorry, whole 40 seconds? I think we can. But if you get to the point where you need to put your leg down in between and go like this, you can do that. I'm just trying not to kick mini. So I kind of have to keep my leg up higher. Come on, we're nearly done with this whole workout. So we're gonna do that to the other side. Deep breath. Okay, palms up this time with the hand. So front and side. Let's flex the, flex the foot and side. Front and side. You're floating the leg if you can, otherwise put it down in between. Long lever arms, slight bend in the elbow. Palms up means you're feeling your biceps here as well, which is a bonus. We're gonna finish strong. The last couple of rounds are gonna be pure cardio, really ramping it up. Okay, are you ready? We're really going to ramp it up as fast as we can. And we're just gonna punch, 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 punch. Tiny little punches. Now, if you're here, that's fine. If you're gonna go really fast, just tap, 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 really tiny and punching across. It's like you're running. Imagine you're running a running race and you're heading towards the finish line. You got your second wind. This is the second last interval. Come on, breathe. Okay, the last interval, we're gonna go across, across really fast. You can go as fast with those legs as you want. Across, across, ready? Go with me now. I'm shifting my legs across, across. I'm sitting back a little bit more. If this is too much, just do this. Okay, that's, that's actually really nice as well. Really nice and quick if you just tap one leg at a time. Doing both engages your lower abs too. Come on. I'm gonna give you a bonus round, I've decided, because why not? Round off the nearly 25 minutes 
Last round, okay? Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Are you ready? Shoulders down and back as fast as you can. Out, out, in, in. Tap, 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 tap. We're going to change the leading leg at the 20 second mark. Okay, change the leading leg. Maybe up high with those arms. We're nearly done. This is it. Finish stronger than you started. Maybe you're dropping your weights and you're just going for it. And that is it. Amazing job, guys. Deep breath in. Roll those shoulders. Swing those arms. Reach overhead side to side. And reach behind and then bring your arms up and stretch the front of those shoulders. So much work for the shoulders today. Neck side to side. And then if you can grab onto the back of the chair and rotate to the back. Hello, darling. And other side. If you can, put your leg up and just lean forward, stretching out your glutes, breathing. And other leg. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Lots of work for our, especially our quads, with this workout, can you come to the side and bring your heel up, stretching out that quad? Nice job. And then just heel in front, and if you can, just lean forward, stretching your hamstring out. And just do that to the other side while you're there. And to the side, stretch that other quad. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me for this seated chair cardio. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got your sweat on and your muscles burning. I will see you again very soon with another chair workout. Bye for now.